Welcome back to Industries TV and today we still talking about takeoff one third of the Migos So before we get into this video make sure y'all smash that like button And if y'all not subscribed to this channel make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on So a newly affidavit has been revealed in the takeoff case And it describes what happened from the beginning to the end So with that being said let's jump right into this affidavit so it states, investigators obtained video surveillance from the bowling alley and other area businesses. We also received multiple cell phone videos, catching various angles and portions of the event. Your affiant has thoroughly reviewed all of the aforementioned videos, which individually captured different perspectives of the event before, during, and after the shooting. Review of various videos revealed the following. There's a total of approximately 34 individuals standing in the group outside the bowling alley immediately before the shooting. The complainant's fellow group member, Quavo, was arguing with a man later identified as Michael Prince and two young black males, one small wearing a yellow hooded sweatshirt, later identified as Cameron Joshua, aka Little Cam, and a large male wearing a white or light tan hooded sweatshirt, later identified as Christopher Watkins. Video evidence obtained showed that Quavo and those two young men had all been involved in a dice game inside the bowling alley. An affiance investigation indicated that they were arguing outside because the two young men had won money in the game. After an initial physical confrontation between the two groups, Joshua aka Little Cam appears to be struck by an individual later identified as Willie Bland who investigation revealed was associated with Quavo. Two different males can be identified as firing weapons from different directions during the incident. One which is Willie Bland. Now to me, it sounds like this is going to be a case of self-defense. Being that they swung and struck Little Cam first and then everybody reacted after that. They also said Willie Bland is associated with Quavo and his crew. And Willie Bland can be seen firing his weapon. So we don't know if Willie Bland pulled out his strap first and then everybody else pulled out a strap and start firing back after the whole argument. But at the end of the day, it seems like this situation is all Quavo's fault. I'm sorry to say, but let's continue. So Houston Forensic Science Center, which stated that all nine of the 40 cal casings has been fired from a single weapon and that the nine millimeter casing from a different weapon. The video showed that a large black male identified as Willie Bland was one of the men firing a gun. However, the trajectory taken by any bullet fired from his location at the time of any given discharge was not consistent with the injuries sustained by Krishnik Ball, aka Takeoff, given Takeoff's body position throughout the duration of the gunfire. Your affiant believes that the video evidence showed the following. A black male identified as Patrick Clark, date of birth 8-4-1989, whom a fiant had previously developed as a possible suspect, pulled a gun and fired multiple rounds in the direction of the complainant. Seconds before the complainant collapsed to the ground, the video does not show any other individuals shooting a firearm or positioning their bodies to shoot a firearm arm raised and firing position from the same direction which Clark was shooting on the video. Clark can be seen discharging the firearm several times. Multiple muzzle flashes are visible. Clark then fled on foot around a nearby house of blues where he was captured on closer video surveillance. Clark then returned briefly to the bowling alley where he was again captured on interior surveillance. Before fleeing the scene, surveillance from inside the bowling alley showed that he was carrying a semi-automatic handgun when he went back inside. During the actual shooting, Clark was holding a wine bottle in one hand while discharging a firearm with the other. Immediately after the shooting, Clark ran over by the House of Blues where he set the wine bottle down and never came back for it. So Patrick Clark, AKA DJ Pat of Houston, was caught on video firing in the direction of takeoff. So basically they saying his bullets is the one that took takeoff out. But let's not forget, two other people were shot and that's why this investigation is ongoing. But let's continue. A fire and his partner interviewed Willie Bland, who admitted to firing a weapon at the scene. 
though he said he didn't know the caliber of the weapon. Now let me just stop right there. I know them officers do not believe that. How you own a gun or you carrying a gun, but you don't know the caliber. You don't know what's in your gun. Didn't you put it in your gun? I don't know, but let's continue. So Bland stated he was a part of a traveling group, including Takeoff, Quavo, and several other individuals, and stated that they were visiting local producer Jazz Prince, which included going to a basketball game at a local gym and then going to the party at the bowling alley. Bland stated that he had seen the two males we identify as Joshua and Watkins throughout the evening, both at the basketball game and at the bowling alley, and that he had seen them with guns. Bland stated that he was watching both when Quavo was arguing with them just before the shooting and as Quavo turned and walked away he believed Josh said something and then pulled the gun so he reached out and punched him. Bland advised that he thought the males were about to try and rob Quavo. Bland stated that he shoved the other male when he saw him coming towards him and heard gunfire erupt around him. Bland stated he believed it probably was Cameron Joshua shooting at him so he began shooting at Cameron Joshua aka Little Cam. A fine observed from his review of the video surveillance recording described above that at the time of the shooting appears the star Joshua ran back inside the bowling alley and that he was armed with a handgun but there is no video evidence showing him firing a gun. A fine knows from his scene investigation that three gunshots were fired into the bowling alley. A fine believes these bullets are consistent with having been fired by Willie Bland aka Migo Bands. Based on his movements and position, in your affiant's opinion, these shots could have not caused the injuries to the deceased or the living victims due to the shooting angles, position of the parties, and the complainant's injuries. In my opinion, the video evidence supports Bland's statement regarding his actions before, during, and after the shooting. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this whole crazy situation. Basically, they saying Migo Bands is in the clear. Migo Bands was firing at Little Cam. Little Cam ran into the bowling alley. They said they never seen Little Cam fire back. So basically, he had a strap, but he never fired back. And Willie Blands, aka Migo Bands, was trying to take his head off, but it didn't hit anything. So he's in the clear, and they said he didn't hit takeoff or any other victims. Now, as far as DJ Pat, aka Patrick Clark, he fired back being that Migo Bands was firing at Little Cam. So it was an exchange. And that's why they say that takeoff was an innocent bystander. He got caught in a crossfire. So DJ Pat, aka Patrick Clark, might have a self-defense case on him. Being that Willie Bland, aka Migo Bands, pulled out and started shooting first because he seen little cam with a gun but cam never shot willie bland shot and then that's when dj pat started firing also because he was with little cam j prince jr and jazz prince and michael prince those are the people that he came with those are the people that he know from houston so those are the people that he's gonna try to protect but with that being said let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section it's a crazy situation but if i get any more updates i will let y'all know just make sure y'all smash that like button and if y'all not subscribed to this channel make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on